Hello everyone and welcome to Cinderful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe and most of all I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video is a little bit of fun. So it's been commonplace I guess recently to see things uh, in the hobby getting a bigger appeal thanks to celebrities. We've obviously had certain ones come out, very high profile celebrities come out and talk about their enjoyment of the hobby and really put it forward as a massive part of who they are. Like many of us, this hobby is almost much more than a hobby. It's almost a lifestyle for so many people that are involved in it. And many of these celebrities feel the same way about it. Now, obviously we had the person in question. I'm sure you'll know they're going to appear on the list of celebrities we're going to talk about today that are involved in the hobby. But also, there was also an album release that's going to be entirely Warhammer focused that was doing the rounds on... Uh, the Facebook groups and all of that sort of stuff and we shared it not too long ago as well and we'll talk about them as well as well as some other people from the music industry from acting from sport and a bunch of other stuff beside it's great to see the hobby getting this mainstream appeal and now celebrities don't feel so bad about coming out and going I do this really nerdy thing like it's something to boot like many of us can now I used to think when I was a kid that I had to hide what I did from so many other people. So many people, I guess, looked weird at it. But nowadays, I feel so much more open to share what I do. I mean, I have the YouTube channel and people I work with in my day job know I have a YouTube channel, know I paint miniatures, know I do this all uh, for what I do. And it's great not having to hide it. And so anyway, let's have a crack and let's have some chat about some celebrities that are into the hobby um if you know any that aren't on this list it'd be great to hear and sort of know more about those ones as well but these are the ones that i dug up while doing some search and ones i know about because i know people who've met them in the hobby number one henry cavill now this is obviously the person that has caused the most hype of recent he is a high profile actor if you don't know who henry cavill is he is superman from the batman the superman movies um and also a bunch of other great movies as well um maybe batman the superman was a really great movie i enjoyed it at the cinema anyway He's a really big Warhammer fan and he's been a massive proponent of like really pushing this as something he really enjoys and also just a great spokesperson for the hobby showing that it's great for downtime, it's great to relax, it's great to meet new people and make friends um, and it's just great for your artistic side as well. We obviously got the first, I guess, uh, look at this when he posted... As you can see here, the custodies that he was painting, apparently he's been doing it for a long time. Uh, apparently during lockdown, he really got to relive it again. He's not got a lot of a chance to do it, but now he's really sort of involved in it again and picked it back up during lockdown is what it seems like he's sort of done. Maybe he's been doing it off and on, but he definitely wasn't as prominent for a long time because, you know, busy life of an actor. But it's cool to see him really enjoying the hobby. He does seem so genuine when he is doing it, which is the best part about it. Another one that has been, uh, I guess, gaining a lot of traction recently is the band Windrose. Now, whether or not they're really true Warhammer fans, I don't know, but they definitely know a little bit about it. Uh, Windrose is a power metal band from Italy, uh, and they sing what's called Dwarven Metal. Uh, they've redone a bunch of old Hobbit songs. You've probably seen their Diggy Diggy Hole song going around as well uh, whether the remix dance version that they released which was quite hilarious and actually really cool um, but they're a good power metal band probably one of the better power metal bands post Dragon Force I've ever heard I'm a big metal fan I like the guys I, they generally have a really good sound to them but their next album is going to be called Warfront and it is entirely Warhammer Fantasy Dwarf focused uh, the single they've released called The Gates of Ekrund, which you should definitely go find by Windrose, is about the battle for one of the Dwarven Holds in Warhammer Fantasy. And so I can't wait to see what the rest of the album is going to sound like and what about the stories we're going to see. Maybe we'll have a Gotrek and Felix song in there. Number three, the late great Robin Williams. Probably one of the largest and, and most well-known uh, Warhammer fans, Robin Williams hid absolutely nothing. 
It's well known he had a massive Eldar army uh, of just insane proportions, a ton of miniatures inside that and some really cool things. Uh, there's been a lot of stories that have gone around about people who've played Robin Williams uh, and who've seen him in stores, who've had the chance to meet him and talk Warhammer with him. He generally seemed like someone who really enjoyed the hobby. And like many of us, uh, I guess it was a massive part of his life as well. Um, it was great to see just a ton of cool things that came out about Robin Williams in the hobby when, unfortunately, he did pass away. May he forever rest in peace. Uh, that so many people had stories to tell about how they'd interacted with him, however little in the hobby. It was fantastic to see. And he was just a massive sort of figurehead for the story uh, that we've probably not seen until Henry Cavill has now come out as a massive fan of the hobby. Number four is Jason Mewes or Jay from Silent Bob. Now, this one is an interesting one because he's come out and explicitly said he doesn't play the games, but he does enjoy painting miniatures and he enjoys painting old uh, pewter miniatures as well. So he's been doing it for a while and definitely uh, have to be some sort of level of hobbies to enjoy painting those pewter miniatures. Now, quite funnily enough, my local games workshop store, the manager actually got to meet him in store one day as he came in and bought some miniatures from my local games workshop store. So this one I definitely know actually exists uh, because the dude, I have first hand or second hand, I guess, uh, accounts of actually the dude coming in and buying Warhammer, which was pretty cool. Went in, bought some Warhammer from my local game store. It was pretty cool. Number five, Ed Sheeran. Now, this one popped up on Instagram a little while ago. Um, probably dating back quite a few years, actually. I think it's happened quite a long time. I mean, you can tell by the fact, look at those Space Marines and that Bloodthirster, I'm pretty sure, is still on a square base in that box set. Um, however, I remember watching this, and this popped up in my feed. It was pretty cool to see Ed Sheeran. He was doing this before a concert. Uh, apparently this is wind down time for him who went and picked up a space marine tactical squad and got a bloodthirster in the background there probably just some cool models he wants to build and enjoy um but says he hadn't got to do it in a while and enjoyed just went down to a local store because it was near the concert hall and so he got some miniatures to go paint pretty cool um like he generally seemed like he was quite happy to do something he hadn't gotten a chance to do in quite some time by the sounds of it Number six, Trey Parker. Now, this one is not technically Warhammer, but Trey Parker has mentioned in the past that he enjoys uh, painting miniatures. In fact, he's actually had some custom miniatures made by different companies, including a man, Bear Pig. For those who don't know who Trey Parker is, he's one of the co-creators of South Park. Um, she comes no surprise, really. Some of the wacky adventures are straight out of a D&D &D manual uh, that the boys have on South Park. But you can see this picture here. He's got a bunch of cool painted minis. Uh, seems to really enjoy just having some cool, unique miniatures made for him and painting. Next, we have Ansel Elgort. Now, he's a professional DJ, and he also appeared in the Divergent series as well. Um, and he did say in one of his interviews on Conan that he paints Warhammer figures. He's kind of out publicly. While it's not known whether or not he actually plays the game, like many people, I mean... It is hard when you're a celebrity, you've not got as much free time when you're doing all this sort of stuff for movies and TV series and all your other jobs and all of that sort of stuff. Maybe it is just painting figurines that these people actually enjoy getting to do. Uh, so he's come out publicly saying, yep, yeah, I do paint Warhammer figures, not known whether or not he plays the game though. Back to the music scene. The Sword are another one that have some Warhammer themed music. Uh, they've got some songs talking about the Warp and Warp Riders and all of that sort of stuff. And this is another one where I've got secondhand uh, accounts of the Sword actually being in. One of the band members, while we had a concert called Soundwave down here in Australia, Sword were playing during that festival that went around Australia. They actually went into my local games workshop store and had a browse while they were waiting, which was pretty cool because the manager at the time was a big sword fan as well. And so he got some cool pictures and some time with the sword, which was really nice. Um, but they're another one that has some Warhammer influenced music, which is pretty cool. Number nine, another prominent one that's actually come about recently is Shayna Baszler. She's a professional wrestler for World Wrestling Entertainment, the WWE. Uh, 
and she's had so many different ring attires that have been Warhammer inspired. Generally, Space Marine attire. It first started to get noticed when she wore some corn symbols on some of her ring gear, which she's done for quite a long time. It's well known uh, with a ton of her posts that she is a massive Cornate fan. Uh, Blood for the Blood God is a common phrase she seems to use on Twitter. Uh, but she's also had this amazing Empress Children one we've seen here. We've seen Dark Angels, White Scars, Ultramarines, and a bunch of other Space Marine chapters. Uh, Traitor and Loyalist all appear on her ring gear, which is just pretty awesome. Uh, seeing her just unabashedly loving the hobby. And I guess this one is even more important because it is a woman enjoying the hobby as well, which is massively important for that side. Um, she's actually been to Warhammer World recently and played a game there with fellow WWE superstar or former now WWE superstar Cesaro, uh, where they got to play and wander around, which was apparently quite awesome for her to get to experience. Number 10, continuing in the World Wrestling uh, Entertainment Company, we have Samoa Joe constantly commenting on a lot of Shayna Baszler's posts. Um, Joe is definitely a massive Warhammer fan. I mean, you can see here the tweet where making fun of his mask looking like one of the Corvus Patton Beaky masks. Uh, he's also got other ones where he's commented on a bunch of stuff. There's pictures around with him mucking around with Gav Thorpe as well. Um, it's well known. He's a massive fan of the Carcarodons. And also, he was talking about on Twitter, on one of Shayna Baszler's posts, about having some input with the narrative and lore for the Carcarodons chapter of Space Marines, which is pretty awesome. Um, love to see Samoa Joe replicated into one of the characters for the Carcarodons. That would be amazing. But that is our list of 10 celebrities who are into Warhammer. If you know of any others, let us know down in the comments below. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, drop us a comment down below and let us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our fine little community here at Cinderful Gaming, you can do so by joining our Discord server, which is linked down in the video's description. Lastly, if you'd like to help support the channel and get your name up on the screen like all these fantastic people do, you can do so by supporting us either on Patreon or YouTube members. As a special thanks to all our Patreon and YouTube members, we'd love to give them a shout out. So a shout out to our Patreons, Christian Weir, James Soren, Greenskins Gaming, AJC, Kenny Lull, Outer and Shot First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Cure Dynamic, Agu, Anthony B, Anton Nielsen, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, James Cater, and Dinah226. And a shout out to our YouTube members, Green Roots Gaming, Kenton Young, Chris Wallace, Ronya, Vinny, Lock Lorick, The Johnny84, David Ellsworth, Revenar, Wolfric Nick, Broken Shelf, Adriana Edwards, and Sean Scott. A special thanks as well to Lady Witch Fox Art, who does all the amazing artwork for our channel, and to X Morphic, who does all the amazing background work for our channel's Discord server as well. Thank you all for watching. Once again, everyone, stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the great. Ciao for now.